All right, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about the best lucid dreaming teas that will broaden your dream life and make your dreams more vivid, more likely to become lucid, and in some cases they'll actually help you remember your dreams better as well. So if you're new to lucid dreaming or you just want to enhance your dreams in some way, but you don't want to take these supplements like galantamine, 5-HTP, Huperzine A, uh, maybe you're worried about the side effects, or you just want something more mild and you already drink things like tea. Well, lucid dreaming tea is a great way of enhancing your dreams, so let's just get right into it. Okay, we're going to explain the 10 best lucid dreaming teas that you can try, how they work, and what effect they'll have. People from all over the world have, you know, from many different backgrounds and spiritual traditions, have recognised the value and power of lucid dreaming. And many of these civilizations and cultures have actually used natural things like herbs and teas to enhance the dreaming experience. This is not a new thing. So a really popular approach to supplementing is actually to drink tea that is infused with herbs that support lucid dreaming. So many of these herbs can actually already be found in teas in the market already in kind of a pre-packaged form that will save you the time that it would take you to actually supplement and do things like that. So what are the best herbal teas, the best lucid dreaming teas that you can possibly find? Well, number one we have, and by the way, these are not in any particular order, okay, I'm just going to explain the best 10 lucid dreaming teas. So you have things like Kalia Zacatatichi, or Kalia Z, Kalia Z. Now, this originated in Mexico, and it's been known as, people kind of call it different things, like it's been known as being called bitter grass, okay, it's native to kind of Mexico and Central America. It's known for hallucinogenic properties, as well as significantly enhancing dream imagery and recall. It's really useful for helping you enter hypnagogia, sleep hypnagogia, which is where you're kind of in between being asleep and conscious. By the way, I do actually have individual videos for all of these teas and herbs, which you can find in the description or just on my channel. So number two, we have Guayusa, and I think I'm pronouncing that right. Now this is cultivated in Ecuador, Peru, and Colombia. And in addition to aiding the dream experience, many people love Guayusa because it's actually packed with caffeine. So it brings you a positive energy boost, in more of a long-term sustainable way than coffee because it's not going to give you those jitters. It's also a strong antioxidant and it helps you with the weight loss as well. Now the interesting thing about Guayusa is that it actually has a stimulant effect on the brain but it also at the same time has an, almost like a sedative effect. So this is why it helps you to lucid dream so well because it keeps you asleep and tired and sedated while at the same time it actually stimulates your brain in a certain way that promotes consciousness and lucidity. Number three, we have valerian. Now this tea is frequently used to treat insomnia. It's also been shown to improve anxiety and, and blood pressure issues as well. It's also a muscle relaxant. So this is the um, kind of the reason that it's a really good lucid dreaming tea is because it helps you sleep, it's a muscle relaxant, and it also kind of helps improve dream recall and makes dreams slightly more colorful. So it doesn't directly induce lucidity, but it does directly help you fall asleep stay asleep, and then also remember the dreams you have. Number four, we have Shatavari. Now this is kind of like a root herb, and it's often associated with women's fertility issues, and it's also used to aid in lactation with women. But it also has kind of properties that help you to relax, and it's frequently used throughout Nepal, India, and the Himalayas. Number five, the intellect plant, also known as Celestrus paniculatus. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Native to India, it can grow as high as 1,800 meters. It's one of the most popular herbs in Ayurvedic medicine. And the intellect plant is known to improve memory and concentration. Part of the reason why it's so helpful for lucid dreaming and the lucid dreaming experience is that it helps you improve your memory and focus. So if you drink this right before bed, it usually takes about a week of continuous use, so drinking it every night before bed, for the effects to fully come in. Okay, so it's kind of a long-term thing. It's not something you can just drink and then immediately improve your lucid dreams that night. Number six, and I have no idea how to pronounce this, but I'm going to give it a try, the Shosa root, and that is spelt with an X, X-H-O-S-A. Indigenous to South Africa, okay, this root is one of the more obscure herbs. It's not very well known, but it usually is formed into a powder and then turned into a foam. So it's kind of a, a very weird one. It's not something you can just easily drink in a tea like you would put a PG Tips tea bag in a cup takes a bit more preparation. Anyway, after ingesting this foam for three consecutive days, the people of the tribes would come together and share their dream experiences. So this one, to be honest, most of you are not going to be able to try this one. It's hard to get hold of and it's even harder to prepare. Number seven, a classic mugwort. This is also known as Artemisia vulgaris. 
it grows abundantly throughout the world really but you know it grows in england it's found around the rest of the world often alongside roads and it can grow up to three feet when it grows in the wild now mugwort and lucid dreaming have shared a relationship for a long time i actually wrote a blog post on my site houseoflucid.com i've spoken about this a lot before and mugwort is one of the most easily available lucid dreaming teas online by the way there will be links to as many of these as you can actually buy online in my description of this video or on my site howtolucid.com number eight we have wild asparagus now this is known in chinese as the heavenly spirit herb commonly used in ayurvedic medicine can have profound effects on a person's dream world so it's a very interesting one now it's said to help lucid dreaming practitioners have more adventurous dreams so although it won't directly induce lucidity it will help those dreams when you do become lucid to be more adventurous exciting and i guess you could say dangerous feeling number nine is clary sage now sage is known as being an antidepressant as well as its ability to enhance the dreaming experience but it's also considered one of the most powerful healing herbs in the world we have the blue lotus now this is a plant known for being a sedative okay so it's going to help relax your body and mind and keep you asleep but it's also known as an anti-stress herb an anxiety reliever and it also has mild psychoactive properties it's said to induce kind of like a pleasurable euphoria when ingested. Nothing too crazy, but just enough that you notice it. Now, I should mention that all of these herbs and teas are perfectly legal, depending on obviously which country you live in. However, they're not regulated by the FDA. Um, so if any negative side effects occur, you should stop taking them immediately. None of this is a medical recommendation, by the way. Uh, full disclaimer, you should research any and all of these yourself, and you should take responsibility for anything you do or do not ingest. So how can you use tea to lucid dream? The video is not over yet. I have many important tips to share with you, especially if you're considering buying any of these. Well, the lucid dreaming experience is an adventure. Okay, most people want to have lucid dreams and almost everyone, you know, the vast majority of beginners, they want the instant magic bullet, the quick fix, okay? But you've got to remember that supplements, herbs, teas, pills, and devices, they don't answer all of the questions. They don't do everything for you they won't directly induce a lucid dream you need to do that work yourself as well and i'm sure many of you who watch this channel you kind of know that okay uh, we on this channel at lucid dreaming experience we know that it takes work you can't do it instantly or you know overnight so it's going to take some work and i hope that if you're watching this video at least you understand that however you can l use those things lucid dreaming teas included to make it more likely so here's what I would recommend that you do. Okay, pick one of these teas, whichever one calls out to you that sounds the most exciting. Have a look in the description of this video, see where you can get it online. It's usually pretty available, you know, at least most of them. And then just try it out. But you should only do this once you've researched it yourself, you've read about the effects of the tea, obviously, and you actually have a lucid dreaming practice, meaning you're writing your dreams down, you're doing reality checks, and you know how it works and you know how you're going to lucid dream. At least that's the bare minimum that you should aim for. So I hope this has helped. Check out my channel for other tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.